Hello, Truth Loaders. If you can't hear me so well today, I do apologize for the state of my voice. I picked up a cold over the weekend and this is the result. But today we are looking at Italy. Now, over the past few weeks, tens of thousands of people have marched against the austerity measures put in place by Mario Monti's government. And one protest on the 1st of December left the anarchist federation of Livorno absolutely furious at the way they'd been treated. Here's Adam with more detail on exactly what happened. This is the moment that Italian protesters took on the police and forced them into retreat. They'd come down to the palace of the prefecture of Livorno and they were absolutely furious with their treatment at a protest which took place a day beforehand when they accused the police of brutality. Now, a large protest against Mario Monti's government had taken place in the city a day earlier and the protesters claimed they were baton charged by the police in the Piazza Cavour. A girl was reportedly injured in that charge and this was their response. Uh, estimates in local press sources say that there were anything between 200 and 500 people who turned up to vent their anger. But whatever number is correct, the group was mainly made up of members of the Anarchist Federation of Livorno and the No Tav or No Table organisation. Now initially they were mainly throwing bricks and flares but things got more and more out of control and they started throwing anything they could find including these barriers. Eventually they did force a retreat inside the building. They then moved on to the Piazza Cavour where two photographers were injured and the protest group have apologised for that but they haven't mentioned the several policemen who were also injured in the standoff. Local news sources published a statement by the police that say they had acted in the best way possible and had not provoked the protesters. Let us know your thoughts in a comment and we'll see you again next time.